Hey everyone, I'm Almar of AlmarsGuides.com and in this video here I'm going to show you how to clear the THV Advanced Care GRE Quarantine Building in the Lower Dam Air Aria? Area? We're going to call it Area of Dying Light 2. So we're doing this building at night and I'm going to offer you some tips, tricks, and strategies to not only clear this building but to also uh, clear it during the day if that is what you wanted to do as well. I personally prefer clearing the GRE hospitals during the day because they're more fun that way. You get a, usually a few volatiles in, uh, in some of them. Some of them don't have volatiles at all though. However, this building is a bit annoying to clear during the, uh, the day because hard enemies mixed in with this heavy smoke where you can't see anything is a very bad combination. So I've already opened this door because uh, I started the video last time and I had to end it. First tip I would like to give you is uh, follow these tubes. See this tube? This will lead you to every inhibitor crate and to the top uh, of the building to the bottom of the building or to the bottom from the bottom to the top As you can see, I have a very good weapon on me. I got these weapons from the, uh, the sunken airdrops in the southern portion of, uh, of the map. If you, need, uh, if you don't know about the sunken airdrops, I recommend you Google Dying Light 2 sunken airdrops because you'll find uh, a lot of information on it and the, they give really good gear. So the next tip I wanted to give you is how to clear this during the day. So you would need some UV bars like this to clear it during the day. And wow, that hurts my eyes. If you pop a UV bar like this, it stuns zombies. As you can see, they're kind of like cowering. This works on virals, volatiles, and regular zombies. That is the, the trick to clearing these during the day. You drop UV bars down, and then you basically kill the deadly zombies. And then uh, you're good to go, basically. Drop a UV bar, kill the volatiles and virals, and then you can kill the regular zombies without a UV bar. Here's the first, uh, and that hurts my eyes too. I hate when it glitches like that. Somebody years later will be watching this and be like, oh man, I'm glad I don't have to deal with that glitch anymore. It's going to give somebody a seizure when they see it trip out like that. So another tip I can give you is see how some of these bodies have already started to despawn and they've leave these little bags behind on the ground. This is a nifty way to save some time as far as uh, looting corpses. If you, leave, if you run a little bit away from the corpses, usually around the corner and a small distance away, they'll start despawning like that and you'll be able to pick up the bags <laughs> instead of having to inspect each of the corpses individually. If you're wondering how I just open this hard lock without uh, doing the lock picking mini game, you can do that by upgrading your locks to or lock picks to max um, at the craftsmaster, and then you can force open hard locks. It will require five lock picks though to force open that hard lock, so it is a little bit costly. However, it does save you a lot of time, so there is that. In a situation like this where uh, I don't want to waste your time during a video, I'll consume my lock picks. And again, like I said earlier in the video, if you're confused of where you need to go, follow this tube on the floor. You can see it cuts through here again. And another tip is to always use your survivor senses because it gives you the outline of uh, enemies and it's very useful for keeping track of them, especially when you're fighting uh, volatiles and virals. Another tip is these inhibitor crates respawn over time. So if you want to uh, 
return to a GRE hospital after you clear it, you can, and you can visit every uh, location that gave you loot and reloot it. The inhibitors themselves will not respawn, however, the other loot inside them will. And it's a good way of farming uh, epic slash artifact gear at a high level. Sunken airdrops are better though. I'd recommend you farm them instead. And yes, there's a lot of loot I'm leaving behind for the sole purpose of I don't want to waste your time during this video. I'm very conscient, conscient, conscientious for people who are watching the video and just want a strategy for getting through the dungeon. Versus, you know, you don't want to sit, sit around and watch me loot everything for 45 minutes. This is the bottom floor, which usually means there's going to be a hard enemy here. It might be a goon, it might be a volatile, it might be... Yeah, there's a goon there, you can see. And it sounds like he's a demolisher, which means he's one of the ones that charges. He will be here, uh, no matter if you come here during the day or at, uh, or at night. So keep that in mind. I wish I could get eyes on him with... Uh, my survivor senses, but it's not you working right now. Okay, so demolishers can be a bit annoying. We're going to uh, use ranged weapons mostly to kill them. Where is he? Like I said, survivor senses, and you can usually get a good eye on them. Except for right now, of course. I hear him. I'm probably going to have to take a hit from him because I can't figure out where he is. There he is. Harshy blows. So UV bars don't really do much to him if I remember correctly. As you can see. The UV bars will mess with the little ones though. This environment's not the best to use them in though as you can see because the fog like really hurts your eyes with the UV bars. If you're just using a regular bow, that'll be fine too. It'll just be a little bit slower. That was a, a lot faster than I expected it to be. If you're using a regular bow, I'd recommend uh, fire arrows or something like that because you'll be able to stay up top and just occasionally come in line of sight of the demolisher shoot a fire arrow at him wait for the dot to you know tick do all the damage and then shoot another one or if you uh, allied with the peacekeepers you can use the uh, crossbow like you see me use and be sure to loot the demolisher too he usually drops like uh, two um, unique trophies I guess I already looted them can't remember and that is all there is to this uh, GRE quarantine building. As you can see, it's not too shabby if uh, you have a good strategy going into it. Aside from that, though, that's really all I need to show you guys for this video. Be sure to always open the bottom when you're done with these things. That way you can return through the bottom if you would like. Instead of always having to come in through the top. This is uh, a safe room. So if you're in the middle of a, a chase, you can run into that room and zombies will not be able to get into you which is a pretty nifty uh, survival tactic. Anyway, that's all there is to it. Hopefully this video helped you guys out, and I'm going to catch you guys around in future Dying Light 2 videos. And I'm going to stop this chase by doing what I just said. Peace.